I have received this file from my colleague. This file contains a pivot table which I will be using it for my further analysis. Now, if I am going to blindly rely on the numbers coming inside this pivot table and the grand totals of the pivot table, then I will be making a big mistake. There are highly chances that these numbers might be incorrect. So before I start using the data from PO table, I must perform few of the checks to ensure that the numbers inside the PO table and the grand total of PO table are always correct. So in this video, let us see what are those checks, how we can perform them and how to rectify if there are any challenges with the PO table numbers. So let us move on to the Excel file and see how we can address them one by one. Now this is the simple file which I have received from the my colleague and let us see the first check which we should be performing up. So I will simply select this pivot table, go to pivot table analyze, and then click change data source. And here I can see that it will take me to the data source from where the data is being considered for my pivot table. Currently here on screen, you can see that only till 900 rows of data is being considered. However, my data source is much beyond that. So how do I make sure that the new data is considered? Just change the data range. So I will just simply select all of this select the data range till the last row and let us click OK. And now here you can see that my pure table data numbers are being changed. So this is the first check. You should always check that your data source is being included completely. Second check, I should ensure that if there are any calculated fields or calculated items being added up over here. So how do I check that? Go to pure table analyze, click on the field items and then click on list formulas. And here it will create a new sheet which will show you if there are any calculated fields or items being included inside your PO table. Currently on screen here you can see that there is a special item, special fruit which has been created up which is a total of apple and orange. Now if I come back to my PO table here I can see that is a special fruit being added. But if I go back and change inside my raw data under the product I can't see any of such items being added. So this is a manually added inside the PO table. I should be ideally removing this from my pure table before I use any of the totals inside my calculation. So let us unselect this and this item special food will get removed. So this is the correct total coming from my pure table. Now third check is like if I create any kind of a slicers by copying this pure table I should ensure that those are not linked to each other. For example if I just copy this sheet I will right click on this show pure table field list instead of product I will drag customer over here. Now let us go to pure table analyze, insert a slicers, I will select products and let us click OK. So currently you can see that this slicer is being linked only to this particular pure table. Let me select this and uncheck apple and banana. So now this particular pure table is being updated by unselecting apple and banana. Now if I select this pure table, click on report and connection. Currently here you can see this is linked to only this particular pure table. It is not linked to the pure table which is created in the another sheet. So here currently you can see the total number is 20 million. Now if I come back to this slicer and click on slicers report connection and I link to that as well and let us click OK. The moment I do that I can see that the numbers have changed. Even though the slicer is not currently getting displayed my pure table has been filtered out. So I need to make sure that even if there are any slicers present in any other sheet it is not linked to one another. So how do I do that? Again go back to the slicer, check the report connections and keep the linking only to the relevant PO tables and uncheck whichever you want. Let us click OK, come back to the PO tables where you have unchecked it and you will have to manually remove the filters coming from that slicer. So I will just simply clear all and now my PO table is ready. So these are the three checks we should ideally do it. First is the check the source of the PO table. Second is check for the calculated items and calculated fields. And third is check for the slicers report connections. That's it like guys from my side. See you guys in the next video.